Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue dans ce point sur la section française de la Grande Exposition. Standing in the nave looking east, the large number of French flags gives some indication of the size of the French contribution. But looking at the French plan of the building layout, the space given over to French exhibits is even more obvious. In fact, the French sections of the exhibition occupied the largest space after that of the United Kingdom. We are going to concentrate on the northernmost parts of the French sections. In particular this section labeled France, China and Tapestry, more colloquially referred to at the time of the exhibition as the Gobelon Room. Looking from the nave, the Gobelon Room is directly behind the Rome, Italy section, clearly visible here with the red wall, which can also be seen in this watercolor. From this update, I have included the available watercolors, over 80 of them, within the model at their respective locations. The Gobelon Room benefits from five watercolors, the first two showing the Algerian corridor immediately outside the room. First looking east. And looking west. The next watercolor shows the view looking into the Gobelon Room from the Algerian corridor. As we enter the Gobelon Room, we move to the location of the view of the next watercolor. From here we can see two of the statues have so far been added to this room. This is the Toilet of Atalanta by James Pradier, now in the Louvre. It appears to have been a late addition to the Great Exhibition, as it is not listed in the official catalogue, and only appears in this one watercolour. To the right is Bacchant Couché by Auguste Clessinger, now at Petit Palais, Paris. The catalogue notes this room contains several tapestries which appear almost as paintings, although there is no further description of them. On the north wall to the left are several images lifted from the watercolors which we assume are some of these tapestries. The catalogue also notes a number of paintings which are copies of recognized masterpieces, but painted on materials such as porcelain. Although the catalogue only refers to these by name, a large number of them survive, and so they have been added at various places around this room. Three are in the middle of the north wall. Luigi Cherubini and the Muse of Lyric Poetry by Jean-Auguste Dominique Angra now at the Louvre. The Virgin at Prayer by Sasso Ferrato, at the Musée des Beaux-Arts in Strasbourg. Madeleine Barbary de Corte, by Jean-Baptiste Gruz, at the Herzog Anton Ulrich Museum in Braunschweig. The remainder I have placed on the south wall. Dido and Aeneas by Peter Guerin, at the Louvre. The Immaculate Conception by Bartolome Esteban Murillo, at the Museo del Prado, Madrid. Raphael at the Vatican by Horace Verne, at the Louvre. Venus in Adjomain by Jean-Auguste Dominique Angren, Musée Condé in the Château de Chantilly. The remaining four are all at the Louvre. Madonna of the Green Cushion by Andreas de Solario. La Belle Jardinière by Raphael. Madonna with the Blue Diadem by Raphael. The Reapers by Leopold Robert. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.